Welcome to your first weekend installment of BBLB. It's day five here at the Big Brother House. So yesterday might not have been the best day for English football, but was it a better day for Mario the Mole? Last night, the Mission Impossible task reached its climax, but did Mario stay or did he go? We will exclusively reveal all later on in the That's show. That's right, and we've also got a musical performance, yeah! a game show. Yeah! on the telly and take on the housemates to the task for the difference. And today's the day we've all been waiting for. Yes, Zigga Zagger here, everybody. Huh? Put your feet up and take a look at the lineup for Sunday. I'm excited, George. You should be, Emma. We'll be chatting to Nick, the incredible Zig and Zagger here. Celebrity Big Brother winner Alex Reed will be dropping in. We'll have a live performance from Eliza Doolittle. And you can find out why the housemates were dressed like this in the news. Ladies and gentlemen, the time has finally arrived. Forget your rolling rats, your Gordon and the Gophers, Zippies and the Kermit the Frogs. Compared to what we've got, they are complete amateurs. They come from the planet Zog, and today, exclusively for you, they are here in Elstree. Dem girls, dem girls, they all love them. It's the original and the best. In zigzag! <laughs> <laughs> Hello, boys! Oh, How are we doing? Hey, hey, hey! 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 See, we only get involved with shows that have big in the title. Like, there was Big Breakfast. That's right. Yeah. Then we did Big Break, of yeah. course. Well, I'm, yeah. I'm very tight with Virgo, by the way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and you, yeah, but, you see, yeah. and, and, and now Big Brother, see, we're, we, we are, in fact, in charge of the props <laughs> and, and, and the tasks and always have been. <gasps> yes. Really? Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. so you must have been responsible for some of the best tasks over the last... That was us. Thank what, you. Davina's you. chicken head, that was you guys. Yes. Zig and Zag. Yes, well, yeah, it I mean, was. Come on, think about it. Think about it. Who else but my brother? could persuade Davina to get into that chicken suit. She is madly in love with me, yeah. Emma. I can see yeah. why. Yes, yeah. you see. Her. And guys, remember when she presented in just a bikini? Yes. Of course. Yeah. Mm -mm. That was all just to impress this yeah. little fella. Yeah. Yeah. Huh? Yeah. You've got moves. We certainly you? do. <laughs> and, and, and how about the electric shock uh, task? Ah, oh, okay. Oh, yeah. Well, that one actually was a slight misunderstanding. The producers asked us. They came over. They said, "Come up with the most shocking big bro task ever." Uh, yeah. and, um, and we, we took did. it literally. I see what you did there, yes, guys. Very smart. Yeah. Have you have you come up with anything yet for this year's uh, this year's Big Brother? Ah, uh, yeah. we, we can't possibly tell you though. It's a top secret thing, you know. All it is indeed Lambo secret. You should yeah. know. Oh, but right. let's just say, okay, I'll give you a hint, right? Yeah. Let's just say the grizzly bears are on the boat from Canada and they're yeah. very hungry. Right. Yes, yes. It could Grizzly be quite... bears and bungee cords, and yes. I'll tell you, you've got a task second to none. It could be quite a gory task, this one, be. guys. Yeah. It was, certainly will be. All Noteworthy. Right. Uh, now, guys, uh, you are going to be taking a look back at Big Brother uh, through the ages, starting later in the show with yeah. Nasty Nick Bateman. Is that right? Yes, indeed. Oh, yeah. We're from Big Brother once. Are you? Boom, 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 boom. Are you excited? I am both scared and excited, Lambo, because what? he is nasty and his name is... Nick. Nick. But don't worry, Zig, if he gets too nasty, I'll stick him in a cage. What? Oh. Yeah, what? You mean like, you mean like Nicholas Cage? <laughs> oh, what? Come on. <laughs> We've still hey. got it. We've still got it. Are we not oh having a great God. time, everybody? <laughs> huh? Come on. Yes. <laughs> yeah. uh, thank you so much. It's a pleasure to meet you. Oh, oh yeah, you should. Chase Lamont, Chase Lamont, indeed. So, so yesterday the housemates were put in a lineup and asked oh, yes. to guess who the mole was. Right, yep. who was it? Mm. Who was oh, yeah. it, indeed? Yeah. If more than eight of them chose Mario, he would be gone. 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 This is a BBL. Gone. This is a BBLB exclusive. Exclusive, everybody. Exclusive. exclusive. Thank you, guys. Thank you. It is now time for you to identify this person. Housemates, please now write down the name of the person you think is the mole. <laughs> ben, turn over your card and announce your answer. Sunshine. Keeper, turn over your card and announce your answer. Sunshine. Corin. Turn over your card and announce your answer. 
Mario! <laughs> Thanks a lot. Thank you, Hulk. Sunshine. Sunshine. Mario. Sunshine! <laughs> Uh, sun sunshine. <laughs> <laughs> I've got sunshine. <laughs> sunshine. Steve. <laughs> sunshine. Sunshine on a rainy day. Sunshine. Turn over your card and announce your answer. Ben. <laughs> ben. The real mole, please step forward. <gasps> you. And I hate all of you. Ben. I trusted you. The majority of housemates failed to identify Mario as the mole. He will not be evicted. Mario, your impossible task is now over. He did it, guys. He did it. You can see that tonight, uh, Channel 4, 9 o'clock. Poor old sunshine, though. So to take a lot I'm of the flat. I'm pleased he did it, though. Yeah? Yeah, I am. I, I like Maria the Mole. Sometimes, she's not going to be a happy girl. I know. She thinks she's everybody really, hates really her really now. Isn't. What do you guys think over there? Are we happy you stayed in? Amy? Yeah. Huh? Yeah. Amy? Yeah. Woo! Yeah. Tell me your views on sunshine. I think that sunshine is just a bit paranoid. I don't think that anybody really hates her. Oh, really? We'll have to wait and see. Yeah, you know what I think is going to happen? I think uh, Mario is going to start getting pretty fruity with Ben, guys. I can see a relationship blossoming. Watch this space. You're just hoping. No, no. Well, yeah, a little then bit. Then you can replay it all at home. A little bit. Uh, well, that's what they think. But what do you guys at home think? Get in touch and let us know what you make Mario passing. His Mission Impossible task. Has them all done good, or do you wish you'd been rumbled? Uh, after the break, we will have all the latest news from the first Saturday night in the house, including the aftermath of Mario's task reveal, and your chance to take on one of that lot in there in the You versus the Housemates. Ooh. Don't go anywhere. <laughs> Welcome back. It's 12.36. Still to come, we'll be discussing Mario's incredible feat with BB1 supervillain Nick Bateman. Yeah. Woo! Uh, but first up, it's time for the latest news from the Big Brother house. Last night, Mario's very cheaty win in the Big Brother quiz meant that the housemates were awarded with a Hawaiian-themed party at 5.26. Of course, given the attendees, this civilised shindig soon descended into an all-out brawl with inflatable palm trees being the weapon of choice. Take a look. Now, that may not look dangerous, but if you ever face the full horror of an inflatable coconut to the face, you probably found that clip pretty hard to watch. During his task, Mario was officially told that even after it was all over, he wasn't allowed to tell the other housemates about the Tree of Temptation. Yet at nine minutes past eight, he just couldn't keep that mole hole shut. It was a Tree of Temptation talking to me for the airport. Where's the Tree of Temptation? Uh, I don't know. Do you know what? I, I, I had to keep going into the bathroom, um, but I had to be by myself, and it'd go, psst, psst, Mario. <laughs> oh, I've got Taspia. <laughs> and, I, and, I, and I was flirting with him. I was going, because I always pretended I was brushing my teeth, so it looked like I, 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 was, I had something to actually do oh. in the bathroom. Oh, naughty Mario, and it wasn't just that one incident. He's been chatting about it all night long. Will he get away with it, or will Big Brother punish him until he cries like a little girl? Fingers crossed. So, Mario's joy was Sunshine's pain last night, and at 8.13, her fellow housemates picked her out as the house mole. Doesn't bode well for nominations tomorrow. Some people thought I was the mole, and instead of writing down someone who they knew 100% wasn't the mole, they wrote down my name, which means the people that wrote down my name and thought I was the mole wanted me to be evicted. Oh, cheer up, sunshine. It's not as bad as it seems. Um, then again, maybe it is. 
Uh, not content with just wrongly accusing her of being the mole, at 20 to 4 this morning, Joven and Shabby embarked on a mammoth session of bad mouthing the poor girl, just to pour a little bit of salt into the wounds. I don't like her. I don't like her. And I felt really bad because I had no reason to. Mm. But now I know exactly why I just like her. Because she thinks she's above this. And my, my problem is... Well, don't get me wrong, she's never said to me that, she, that she's above this. You know, don't get me wrong. No, it's an attitude. It's an attitude. Yeah, yeah. Oh, so that's the news. Now, if you have a barcode scanner over here somewhere... There. <laughs> uh, it will take you straight through to our uh, website, channel4.com forward slash big brother. That's it for now. George, over to you. Thank you. How about that scanner thing, everybody? That's the most amazing thing I've ever seen. You put your phone on the screen and it scares. It was this it's witchcraft amazing. to speak of. Amazing. It's amazing. Uh, now, we, uh, we're now joined by a man who knows more about uh, being sneaky around the big of the house, uh, pretty much more than anybody, in fact. Uh, nasty Nick Bateman, everybody. Oh. Oh. I tell you what, Nick, I am so excited to meet you. Oh, thank you. Watching you all those years oh, ago. Oh, it's an anti-climax, let me tell you. It's an anti-climax. <laughs> uh, now, uh, Mario's passed the task, we just found out. Brilliant. It was pretty incredible, wasn't it? I think it was one of the best tasks I've seen in about four or five series. Really? Great, great idea, and he passed it with flying colours. Did you, uh, did you think he was going to? Because, I mean, from, from that moment when he went in, and he came up with quite a quick ad-lib there when he went in, and he said, oh, they blindfolded me, and yada, yada, yada. And, and I thought, oh, hang on a minute, this boy can think on his feet. He can. I mean, it's... You're all very, you get very paranoid in the house, so you think everyone's a mole. And when somebody obviously is a mole, you can't see it. So I think he acted. Oh, the old honestly. double bluff. Double Nicky. bluff. The old double bluff. bluff. Do you think he could have carried it on though? How long would he have lasted doing it? Do you think? I think most of the contestants thought, you know, like Sunshine was the mole. So I think he could have carried on for quite some time. But I think the contestants actually thought. It was Big Brother and somebody was coming through this yeah. mysterious trap door. Right. Uh, should we have a little look at how he managed it, guys? Yeah. Huh? Yeah. Of course we'd like to. I've spent my whole life being called Super Mario. <laughs> now I'm Mario the Mole. <laughs> To it there. Um, now, the question is, being the original. The question Big is, Brothers... why you rolled them trousers up so far? <laughs> <laughs> That's the main question. Sorry, carry on. Uh, when does a turn up turn into a three quarter lift? That's the big <laughs> question today. Sorry, carry on. Uh, you were the original Big Brother sneak. So, do you think Mario pulled it off better than you? No, I think Mario was told what to do, which is different from actually doing it yourself. But I just think the wrong person found the beach ball. I think if one of the guys found it, they'd have shown it to everyone. He would have gone in, but instead it was a conscientious lady. I'd go to, I, no one can see this, so I'd take it into the diary room. But it, it should have been one of the guys finding it, or there should have been two or three balls, because no one throws one ball over, they throw three or four over the house. Oh, is, that, is that the prerequisite for ball throwing well, into no, the house? When I was in the house, they knocked <laughs> literally about eight tennis balls into the house, but security oh. picked them up before... We you saw them. Get out there. Do you think you gave Big Brother all of these ideas? I think some of the ideas, but I think some of the ideas they got from subsequent series. And I think this one, I think for the first time in about five series, we've got really good contestants, and I'm really looking forward to do the next think, ten weeks. Do you think, uh, do you think Mario was, uh, was, was better at sneaking around than you? Or mm. No, I, he was almost as good. Obviously, he saw almost my series yeah. uh, and learnt from it. But, yeah, he was quite good. He'll get two... Uh, Two double ticks. Right. Can we have a look at your sneaking? Should we have a chat about memory when lane, you got guys? Caught. Again. <laughs> Again. <laughs> yeah. I'm serious. <laughs> no, I'm going through that. No, no, don't, don't. Oh, come on, let's go through that. No. You just stand there and watch the door. I don't agree with this. <gasps> Does it say? Oh, don't, don't go out there. Say a minute. <sighs> oh. Don't worry about this. He's there. We've seen it. I've seen it. I've just seen it. Basically, uh, sorry I have to say it, Nick, but I'm very disappointed in yourself. 
there's a number of people sitting around this table, right, who have come to me over the weekend and basically said uh, that you have showed them a piece of paper. Craig, you've made a number of wild accusations over the, over the last yeah. couple of weeks. Please explain to me. Mm. What, what's your game? What are you playing at? Oh. Oh, do, you, um, do you ever regret doing that? No, Do I... Do you not wish you'd have stayed in there a bit longer? I think you're 36 days. I mean, look at the colour in that house. We had just one colour blue throughout the whole house. It's, it's like... It's really basic when you with. look back, isn't it? It's like you uh, fell from Young Offenders Institute. You know? it's, it's like <laughs> I've not been, Nick. <laughs> I've not been. I've not been. It so, could be arranged, but... Uh, obviously, that, that, they were joke kind of, you know, notes that we put in there. Yours were a lot more sinister than that. Uh, how would you have done it differently to Murray had you been the mole? I think with the mole thing, I think you start to take their clothes and put them in the pool or make them up by bed or take their toothbrush or, and, and just hide it because then you think, actually, there's a thief and a mole in the house. So, yeah. But it's the paranoia. You just work on people's paranoia because they already think that Big Brother's coming through a trap door, which is nonsense. Right, okay. do, you think, um, do you think Mario will get cocky now? No, I think he actually seen as quite a nice guy and he hated doing it, but yeah. he realised it was the greater good. Yeah, we've got Mario's mate Jerry on the line. Jerry, you there? Hi, mate, on the right. Hello, Jerry. Hello, Jerry. Can you hear me? Yeah, can, we can hear you loud and clear, Jerry. Uh, do you think that Mario's success is going to go to his head? No, not at all. Um, he would have seen the task as a, uh, as a job, and now he's done that job, he's going to probably move on to the next one. Oh, oh, okay. oh what's, what's the next job, though? You're talking a, like jo the job is a, a plan of some sort. Well, it'll be, he will have a game plan of sort, but it'll pretty much just to get his personality across, because he, he knows his personality will win the show. But no sneaky game plans? Uh, not really. He might, he might get a bit bored and play with people's heads a bit, but, um, but yeah, that's about it. Do just you, have a little bit of a mess around. Do you think, uh, do you think the other housemates are going to be a little mistrusting of him now? Well, that's the problem. I mean, because he did it so well and led people away from the scent, um, they will be a little bit wary of him, but, well, we've got to wait and see for that. What about um, Mario's flirting with Ben? Um, yeah, no, that's interesting. Um, <laughs> yeah. Does he like posh boys, usually? Uh, sorry? Does he like posh boys? He, he likes people who are cultured, to say the least. Yeah, he, li he likes people that are interesting, more importantly. Have, yeah, we... Anyone who's... Go on. Have we got another Craig and Anthony Hutton on our hands here? Like, is, uh, is, is, is Mario going to turn into a, a slight stalker, as far as Ben's concerned? No, not at all. That's not, that's not, his, uh, that's not his way. If anything, he'll probably just want to be good friends with him, not yeah. at all. All right. Nice one, Jerry. Thanks, Brilliant. Jerry. Thanks very much, mate. Give him a big Thanks round of applause, everybody. Uh, now, also, give him a big round of applause for Nick. Thank you for joining us, sir. We're going to be seeing more from him later on the show. Nick Bateman. Thank you, Nick. Oh, right. Now then, we have got a treat in store for you. Uh, this man over here is the daddy of the Big Brother task team. Uh, Daniel, you've got some very exciting news for us, haven't you? I have. Um, for the first time ever, we're going to give the Big Brother, Little Brother viewers the chance to take part in a task. What? <laughs> yep. What? Explain. Well, basically, um, when you're watching at home, you're watching a task, you're no. always thinking, I, I could do better. I could do it better. Absolutely. You do it all the time. So now we're going to give you a chance. You're kidding me. Not at all. He's having a laugh. <laughs> you're not having a laugh, are no, you? No, what's going to happen is every week we're going to set the BBLB viewers uh, a task and then they're going to upload their attempts onto the website. Yeah. Um, Big Brother's going to choose the best and then they're going to come into the BBLB studios, record their official attempt, which is going to be played into the house and the housemates are going to try and beat that attempt. You're winding us up, aren't you? <laughs> no. I don't believe so, it. Big Brother chooses the best, but what, what is he looking for? For, Essentially the skill, best. but we're also looking for entertainment and enthusiasm. Right, OK. And right, then they're okay. going to come in here, and the one they record here, that's the one that, that goes into the one. house. That actual yeah. one? So, yeah. You're kidding me. No, so I'm not. That goes into the house. Therefore, that kind of means that the viewers are in the house. Yeah, absolutely. They're in the house. They, they could even be on telly. This they... is one of the most amazing things I've ever heard. I might have to sit down, Nettles. <laughs> yeah. And that they are seen by the housemates. And the housemates don't see anything from the outside world. No, nope, that's true. They will be seen. They'll be on the plasma and they'll be going head to head. Right, OK. To me, it sounds a bit too good to be true. Uh, so let's take a look and find out the rules of this week's challenge, Candle in the Wind. Candle in the wind. The viewer must blow out a standard birthday candle from as far away from the candle as possible. The candle should be level with the viewer's mouth. The viewer must only use their breath to blow out the candle. 
The viewer should place the candle as far away from them as they think they can achieve before attempting to blow it out and must remain in that position without peeping forward. One blow can be as long as a viewer can continuously blow before refilling their lungs with air. After a successful attempt, the viewer should state honestly to the camera the distance that they've achieved. I've just, I've just stood up, guys. I've just got my head around it. Uh, also, Nettles has got something else he wants to tell us. Yeah, not only that, if you do beat the housemates, you get to win what they would have won. For example, like yesterday's this, show, Hawaiian party. you could win your very own Hawaiian party. In your party. own house? Yeah, we'll with give your you all pals. the stuff they would have had. That's amazing, can isn't I it? Enter? Huh? You're over 16, yeah, you can <laughs> enter. Um, and you want to say a little? Yeah, I just want to say hi to my little babies, Eric and Elsie, who I haven't seen for a week. Oh. He makes the show on his own. I know you see a lot of people here doing Little Brother, but he's the only person who works on Big Brother, actually. <laughs> uh, so I think we understand the rule for this week's challenge. Uh, if you want to find out more, head to channel4.com forward slash Big Brother to find out how to post your attempts online and for the full T's and C's. Uh, now, you must be 16 or over to be considered. Uh, you should make sure you get parental consent and also make sure that you have the candle secure. Yeah. So um, put it in an apple or even a birthday cake, but make sure it is safe. So it doesn't Fire over. safety, guys, OK? It's paramount. 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 Look, look, we've got, our, uh, we've got a fireman on the set right now. Ben, the fireman, he's there with his fire extinguisher. And use a uh, birthday candle. Don't go using one of those whopping huge ones. It's got to be a birthday yes. candle. Yes. Uh, now, Emma uh, has been dying to have a go at this all morning. Uh, Emma, uh, she's been limbering up all week for this. Uh, she'll sure. be giving it a go after the break. Uh, we'll see. I thought, I thought you were going to do it just then. <laughs> uh, we'll see you. Uh, we'll see you four, everybody. <laughs>
That's right, FYI, at Zig and Zag, BLB viewers, and I'm so excited <laughs> I almost PEE'd in my PANTS. Yes, TMI, Thank brother, you. TMI. Yeah. And why are we so excited, no, you may just... ask, you may ask. Because joining us in the props room is the Voldemort of Big Brother oh. 1. That's right, boo if you must, people! Come it's on. nasty Nick Bateman! <laughs> Hi, Nick. Hi. Hi, Nick. <laughs> Hi, Oak. Hello, Nicholas McNasty. Hello, how are you? Nickety new. First question, Nickety right? New. You've got the nickname Nasty. Why? What did you do to deserve it, do you think? Because I wrote some names on a bit of paper. What a crime! Wrote some names on a bit of paper. Mm, yes. Boo to you, I say, boo! Boo! And what were you planning to do? What remind us what happened? Well, what happened was it yeah. was a game show. Right. And the object was to stay in the house. Mm. Yeah and try and stay into the end and win the 70,000 English pounds. 70,000 quid! Cheating? cheating? No, it was just bending the rules slightly. Bend. When did you decide to start cheating, though? Was when it did before I start? You, was it before you went into the house? It was a very evil and dastardly plan. <sighs> oh, boo! But did you come up with the idea before you went into the was house? Was it a plan all along? Oh, it's like an echo in here. It was a plan that I made up about a couple of weeks before the show. Mm. Right, OK, OK. And do you regret doing it? Do you regret doing it, Sonny Boy? No, I think you can't regret anything. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So did you cheat in exams as a kid? Yes. I was too bright to cheat in exams. All right. Did you cheat yeah. in relationships? Yeah. Ooh, never. It's very bad to do that. All right. Yeah. And exactly how many games <laughs> of Scrabble have you won by using high-scoring letters secreted in your underpants. We need huh? a number. Huh? We huh? need a number. Huh? Uh, zero. Yeah. I hate Scrabble. Mm. I don't believe him. I don't believe him either. Nasty, don't believe him. Don't believe him, folks. Don't look in his eyes. <laughs> Never look in his eyes. Let's have a look, though. Oh, yeah. At the moment, <laughs> when you got kicked out of Big Brother 1. Oh, let's have a look. Oh, there they are. Glad to see the back of you. Yeah. The walk it's of shame now. The cool walk bastard. of shame. I see the back of them now. Oh, Craig. There you go, yep. towards the car. Can I get a car? Can I get a lift home? Can I get a lift home? <laughs> yes, but we're keeping your luggage. Yep. You're, You're not, not getting, getting that back. back, Sonny. Wrong door! Come on! <laughs> Come on, will you? <sighs> and. You know what we're going to do? We're only going to drive you into that field and then you're going to have to walk the rest of the yeah. way home. Wait, you see. <laughs> there you go, off into the field. Oh, yep. dear. Yeah. <laughs> off into the wilderness. Oh, no. Now, look. When you got kicked out of the house, Nick, you cried like a wicked baby. It's true. <laughs> it is true. Like a wicked girl. You don't know boo hoo. Right? <laughs> ah, was that because you'd been rumbled or huh? because you were genuinely sad to leave? I was genuinely sad to go. Right. Oh. Don't believe him. Don't believe him. He's trying to lure you in. Okay? Really? Mothers around the country, right, are always telling the kids to be good, not nasty. But does nasty actually pay? Mm. Yes, yes, it does. you see, yeah. it does. Yes. You that, kiddies? It does. Nastiness pays. Yep. What cool jobs were you offered once you left Big Brother? God, I had lots of cool jobs. I did the Rocky Horror Show round round the country. Wow. Right. Okay. Ooh. Yeah. yeah. What else? I had a wrote a book. A wrote book, a you book. say? A book, but Very it's good. too rude to say what it was. Oh. Right. Ooh. All right, just whisper. <laughs> oh, <laughs> nasty. <laughs> Was it nasty, that? brother? Right, and what else did you do? Well, yeah. look, hang on, what's the weirdest thing? What's the weirdest thing yeah. you were asked to do? Whether you did it or not, I don't know. What was the weirdest thing? Talking to you two. That would, that would be it, all right. All right. Yes, but at least it's not nice the nastiest way. thing he's done. Yeah, at least yeah, it's not the nastiest. Yeah, yeah, OK, yeah. do you hang out with other famous cheats, like the army guy from Who Wants to Be a Millionaire and Sandra Bullock's husband? <laughs> <laughs> Sadly not. No? All right. I thought cheats would hang around with each other, you yeah, know? Yeah, yeah. In well, a den. In a cave. In a villain's cave. A villain's cave. Yeah. Come here. Who would, who would win in a fight between Nasty Nick Cotton and Nasty Nick Bateman? Me. I'm younger. Ah, ah okay. right. But All interesting, right. yeah, yeah, It's, it's an interesting, interesting thing to think about, isn't yeah, it, Sonny Boy? <laughs> is, is he really nasty or is he actually quite nice, folks? Yeah. Nasty. No, he's nasty. Boo. He's nasty. Boo. He's nasty. Boo. Boo. I don't quite trust him, you know. Yeah. But you know what? It hasn't been entirely nasty to meet you. Mm. And oh. thanks for dropping in to visit us here in the Big Brother Props Room. The not-so-nasty, nasty Nick Bateman, yep. folks. Yeah. 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 Let's go and me. find out what Emma and the Lambo are up to right Lambo. now. Lambo. Oh, hey, Georgie Boy! Emma! Lambo. <laughs> you have got a nickname. Lambo. Lambo, Lambo. Giorgio, yeah. all Lambo. of the above. Yeah.
Uh, Zigzag, thank you so much. Never before have two aliens probed quite so deep. I well, we Nick will be a little bit we, sore. We don't know that. We don't know that. Uh, <laughs> speaking of which, uh, we're now joined by a man who's caused more pain in the ring than most. It's Cage, Cage Fighter, <laughs> actor <laughs> and reigning celebrity big brother champ, Alex Reed, everybody. Yay! Uh, we're a mere, I don't know, 50 odd metres away from it. How much do you wish you were back in that house right now? Looking at it now, barbed wire, that's a concentration camp. Really? It is weird seeing it here like that. Is that to keep them in or to, get, to stop them? A bit of both. Getting, oh, a bit wow. of both it's a good old house this year, though, isn't it? It is actually, yeah. It's weird. I'm drawing parables on how the celebrities who were in it when I was in it, how they are. You sort of like, you've got, um, is it Dave? He's yeah. like Stephen yeah, yeah, Baldwin, yeah. you've yeah, got yeah, other yeah. people. You know, yeah, yeah, okay. You've got okay, your so key you're characters. pairing them off, basically. Um, and also, your old mate, the Tree of Temptations, back in there, reincarnated as a chest of drawers. Yeah, I, was, I felt quite nice when he was back in there. I'm like, oh, yeah, good. Yeah, the chest nice of to see him up to his old tricks. He's a naughty boy. Should we just remind ourselves of the good old times when Alex used yeah. to hang out with the Tree yeah. of Temptation? Yeah. You've got to tell us which one is Alex and which one is the tree, all right? <laughs> <laughs> okay. Psst. Alex. Yes. It's me. The tree. Don't look at me. Please be subtle. OK. I want you to smash that snowman out. Oh, thank you. If you totally smash it up, Bruce Lee style -y, you'll get your punch bag. All right. Hey! Oh, no. 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 Secret no, task. Not... I promise you. Secret task. Yeah. 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 Hey! That's crazy, man. He's like the Incredible Hulk. <laughs> He's exactly like the Incredible Hulk, just more kind of orange than green. And <laughs> what's it like being told to go up against the rest of the house and, and, and you know, just because the tree's doing it, you have to, you have to do it? It's a game. It's a laugh, you know. It's not... What do you mean, what's it like? I mean, it's, it's, not, it's no big deal. Well, sneaking around. It makes feel, it more fun. It's so boring in there. Right. You, okay. you're, no, no, no mobile phones, no out contact. It's just like, you've got to have something to do. So it was like, yeah, a little mission. Makes it fun. Well, right. for me. The time. For me, yeah. Uh, well, the tree's left a little message, yeah. hasn't he? Would yeah. you like to see it? Especially for you. That cheeky tree. Come on in. Let's Eddie? hear it. Let's hear it. Go. Psst, psst, Alex, it's me, the tree. Bet you thought you'd heard the last of me, didn't you? Well, think again. I'm watching you 24 hours a day in the gym. I'm watching. Fake tanning yourself to within an inch of your life. I'm watching. Chickening out at your next cage fight. I'm watching. You ain't heard the last of me, Alex Reed. <laughs> that is fighting talk. Oh, that is fighting talk. There's no isn't it? chicken in there. I'll tell you, that is never. Oh, look, he's he's got got a oh, <laughs> oh my god. Thank God there's no snowman here. <laughs> Jeez, um, where is he? <laughs> look, let's, um, let's talk about Mario the Mole. Because he had a little task to do, yes, like you he did. did yeah. um, how do you think he did? I thought he was brilliant. Um, very ingenious. From the get-go, as mm. we keep saying. Is that why he was, he was chosen, thinking, I can thinking imagine? On his feet. Well, he was randomly picked. Or was he? Of course he was. <laughs> you're so sceptical. Yeah, I mean, his character. I mean, obviously, when you go in for this, you're like, you, what's he going to be like? Is he going to be Picked game for a random. Life? We had an official yeah. random adjudicator from some kind of <laughs> lot. No, we did. We genuinely okay. did. Yeah, yeah we, we had did. a lady oh, there. She was, she okay. was stood Queen on the stage, of the tombola. Well, he was good. He was... Uh, Do you think good. you'd have picked him out as the mole? No, no, I wouldn't. It's too obvious. You're quite trusting, though, yes. aren't you? The old but double bluff. Who's the, um, the Australian guy? JJ. JJ. Now, I think he's throwing a few red herrings out there about 30 seconds and all that. I mean, I would, when I was in there, I wasn't giving everything away. I was, right. like, making out all something else. You gave quite a bit. Well, did I? <laughs> did I? Did you know I was going to get married when I come out? No. No. Chances yeah. were. Yeah. Chances <laughs> were. <laughs> That's probably why he went in, wasn't it? <laughs> uh, now, talking about your lovely wife, Corinne, uh, the girl in there, she, she thinks of herself as a bit of a Katie Price. How does she measure up to the real thing? Just no comparisons whatsoever. Really? No. Absolutely. She seems yeah. like a lovely girl, though. I'm sure she is. Um, and it's, just, what is it, fourth day now, fifth day? Yeah. So, I mean, I can't really tell from... But first impression, she seems like a lovely girl, but I've and got the real thing, and, yeah. And, and you'll get married again. Uh, I'm again. married. I'm not getting married again. It's a blessing. Right, OK. Just oh, for right, friends okay. and family, so that's right. going to be fantastic. No because magazines there? No, no, I want to do it... Um, Behind Private. closed doors. Is Bass Hunter going to be there? We heard his GJ. I read that as well. I mean, yeah. you, you can't believe everything you read in the papers. I read nonsense every single day. Um, but I wouldn't say no. Are you, are you still in touch with any of the guys I would love in the to, house I would, with? He was going to do a song for my next fight um, okay. to come out, and I'd love to... That's a Bass Hunter, 
contact me. I've tried to get hold of your manager, don't know what's going on. <laughs> there you go, you heard you it go. here first. Um, now, one thing I do want to ask you about is when you went in, you, you were booed quite badly, and you turned those boos to cheers yeah. like you wanted to. Yes. Um, and on Wednesday, Shabby, Ben, and mm. who was the other one? Uh, Rachel, they mm. all got booed. So what advice would you give to them to kind of lift the their thing spirits? The thing is, you've got an, I know who I am in here and in here, and it's to be congruent. You've got to be yourself, not to s change. When you, you know, you meet people for, a, for the first time, you put on your airs and graces, so you want to impress people. That's all very well, but you've got to stay the same person. You know, say like you're a, a gay guy in, in a bunch of homophobes, yeah. you might try to, um, oh, I'm try straight. To yeah, they, up a bit. they won't respect that. You know, be the gay guy, be who you are, be who you are. And, that's a good message that you've given out to everyone. Keep it, you, real. Exactly. Keep it real. Absolutely. Keep it real. Uh, now, I, I can't believe it, but uh, Alex was actually voted the least intelligent housemate by, uh, by his fellow contestants I when was, he was on yeah. the show. Uh, but I think this interview, guys, has proved that that's nonsense. Please give him a big round of applause. Alex Reid, everybody. <laughs> Beautiful man. Beautiful um, man. And Alex, to prove your critics wrong, we would like you um, to answer one simple question. Can you do that? Yep. Can Alex Reid? <laughs> and Alex Reed. See so, what we've done there? Would you do us a favour and would you read our next link into the break? Stay where you are, viewers, because after the break, you cheeky monkeys. <laughs> <laughs> Straight pop starlet Eliza Doolittle will be performing her brand new single, and Emma will take on the. And <laughs> turns out that you <laughs> turns out they were right. I'm afraid we'll see you after the break. <laughs> <laughs> The time is 1.13 and next, uh, our next guest has been racing up the radio charts with her breezy summer anthem. It's Eliza Doolittle! Yay! Welcome to the show. How Thanks are you? Thanks for having me. I'm great. How are you? Uh, yeah, very well. Now, you're performing for us a little bit later on. Yeah. But before you uh, disappear, uh, let's talk about Big Brother because that's why we're here. Yeah. Um, so, who is doing little for you? Ooh. Sorry. <laughs> um... <laughs> well, <laughs> Well, I haven't seen because we because it's only just started. I don't really feel like I know them very well yes. yet. Yeah. Not been um, watching, you say, I you have know. been watching, um, but I just I was thinking. Let me have a think. The ones I the one I don't know the most is probably Corinne. I haven't really felt like there's anything. She's been in the background her, yeah. quite a bit so far. What yeah. about what are you thinking about Sunshine? Well, she seems a bit like a daddy's girl. Like when she doesn't get her own way or when things right. suddenly go wrong, she yes. can't handle yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. And who and you liking in her car and stuff? I'm really liking Shabby actually, but she seems like one of the only ones who's really shown her personality. She's quite, yeah. she you, she is what she, what I mean. You see what you get kind yeah. of thing. With she's her. quite surprising. I kind of thought she would be slightly different to coming across, but she's coming across well. Yeah. Um, Eliza, thank you very much. You're going to oh, be performing you. as we said uh, earlier on. Eliza, do little. Yeah. Round of applause, everybody. Yeah. Beautiful. Uh, now, think you know a thing or two about Big Brother? Well, this new Sunday quiz will be right up your street. It's the imaginatively titled That Game Show Thing. <laughs> wow. Are we not having a great time, everybody? Huh? Yeah. Uh, yeah, that's right. It's time for our celebrity guests, Nick and Alex, to work together and pit their Big Brother knowledge against a Big Brother pain. Well, amazing alliteration, I couldn't even say it. <laughs> uh, it's Emma, everybody. <laughs> The, uh, the rules are simple. What I say goes. You understand? Yeah. yeah. You understand? Compete. Very good. Feeling good? No. I'm Fantastic. Not. Feeling confident? Yes. You should be. And uh, let's start <laughs> as we meet to go on with round one, ladies and gentlemen. It's the Who Am I round. Now I'm going to read you a series of clues about the housemate. And when you guys think you know what I'm talking about, you've got to buzz in. The first person to get it right. Uh, uh, not only wins a point, but also maybe my heart, guys, OK? Oh. Uh, do you want to uh, just test your buzzer for me? Amazing buzzer work, Nick. Great buzzer work, Emma. OK. Uh, the, uh, the housemates did a similar thing yesterday. Let's see how you guys fare against them. Uh, fingers on the buzzers. Who am I? I was born in uh, April 1984. I attended private school until the age of 11. Do <laughs> my school? Ben. I am Ben, no. Uh, it isn't that. It's not right. Uh, I once drank an entire bottle of rum from the shoe that I found inside a charity shop. Uh, Kiva. No, you have to say I am I first. I am anyway. No. Uh, I have literally 
aspirations and currently writing... Uh, I have literary aspirations and I'm currently writing a book. I am shabby. No. Uh, I once worked in a bar in San Francisco. Oh, I am Mario. No. <laughs> My mono brow measures six and a half. I am Nathan. You're doing really well, guys. Well done, Emma. You literally <laughs> went through the entire pack. <laughs> Fingers on the buzzers. Uh, who am I? I was born in August 1984. I once accidentally killed a frog by keeping it in my pocket for far too long. I'm... I am shabby. No, I'm afraid that's not right. I'm scared of cotton wool, heights and human hair. I... Rachel, no. I'm Rachel. No, you're not Rachel. Uh, I was once bitten by a poisonous spider in Australia. I am John. Amazing work there, but you're not correct, Nick. <laughs> uh, I used to be a cheerleader and I can do the splits. I am Iffy. No. Uh, I used to be a hamster. No, I own. I used to be a hamster. I am Corin. No. Uh, I own. A, I used to be a hamster. I'm Corin. Uh, I own a hamster called Baby, aka Pookie. I am Joven. This is not really going so well. <laughs> uh, I am vegan and I'm addicted. Oh, oh, oh. oh was that? Oh, that was us. Oh. I'm going to let you have it. Sunshine. Sunshine is one on, guys. <laughs> and the end, of this, the end of that round, the scores that Emma won. Nick and Alex also has one. <laughs> Right, final round, guys, pulling rank. Uh, under your podiums, you will find pictures of three of this year's housemates. Uh, have a look under your podium. Your podium, oh, oh, that's oh, the podium, oh, my sorry, love. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Okay, show them to the camera, show them to the camera. Uh, which one of them is the most accident prone? Okay, you've got 10 seconds to rank the housemates on the board behind you. Pull off your blue velvet there, guys, okay? Uh, and I want you to tell us who do you think had the most broken bones? The most broken bones. Very quickly, if you can now. Time starts now. Let's go. He's a panel. Most He's broken ready. bones. Yeah. All right. Very quick, guys. Very quick. Yeah. All right. Time's up. Time's up. Uh, right, Emma, you've got Nathan and then JJ and then the other lady and then you've Josie. got Josie. You've got JJ, Josie and then Nathan. I'll tell you the correct order. Nathan in first place with three broken bones, broken leg, chip spine and a broken metatarsal. Oh, he's in the wars, the boy. Josie had two broken bones, broken wrist and a broken toe. She broke her toe running to get Whoopi Goldberg's autograph. Oh. Huh? Isn't that amazing? And, uh, and John, J J JJ, anyway, no broken bones. You've got it right, guys. Give him a big round of applause. Uh, let's give it to the boys. Oh. They were close enough. I'm afraid they were closer. Uh, that means... You guys are the winner. Uh, I'm just going to put that on your little nipple there. Oh, Alex. Yeah. Uh, I hope you do better next week, my love. Uh, can I tell you that's not right, is it? No. Uh, that's all we've got time for today. Remember, uh, you can keep up to date with all the latest Big Brother news at the website, channel4.com forward slash Big Brother. I wanted do to win. Do not forget to watch the main show tonight at 9 o'clock on Channel 4, and we'll be back here tomorrow at 6 with Rav Wilding Ooh. and Freddie Fisher. We'll see you tomorrow. Here's Eliza Dulo. <laughs>